Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com And this morning I took the Nikon D500 over to the Fro Factory to do high ISO portraits of Maria because a lot of people want to know how does a DX camera handle at higher ISOs. Well, that's what I'm here to show you, but I also filmed pretty much a five minute portrait along with the shoot today. That will be up later. I just wanted to get out these raw files for you so that you could go ahead and pixel peep and see how this camera handles at high ISO. So let's turn and look at some of the pictures right now. Though. The first one that you're seeing is at 12,000 800 and it looks tremendous to be honest with you. I have not seen a DX camera handle photos at such high ISOs before. So this is the first time that we're able to say yes, you could shoot at 12,800 and have it be completely usable. Now let me tell you this, it's not like I am really pushing the shutter speed or anything to the extremes. I'm at 1 400th of a second at f3.2 ISO 12,800 all the way out of 200 millimeters with VR on with the 70 to 200. So all the way out of 200 millimeters means I'm using a 300 millimeter equivalent because you multiply the 200 by 1.5, thus giving us the 300 millimeter shot and 1 400th of a second is basically where you want to be when you're shooting at a 300 millimeters. Now, I want to let you know you can download any of these raw files or all of these raw files over on the website. They are DNG, so go ahead and download them and pixel peep them all for yourself. But this is a perfectly usable and clean file. Remember, when you zoom in one to one, of course, you're always going to see some noise or some grain in this instance. But the whole thing is about making a print, and I'm going to show you a print in just a second. But this is a usable file at 12,800. We have not seen a DX camera of any make capable of shooting this high and be that clean. Next shot, 25,600. Same thing, still very good, still very clean, still very usable. This time I was at 1 800th of a second. So yes, of course, you could drop the shutter speed and drop your ISO, but this is the test that you guys wanted to see. This is 51,200 ISO, 1 1250th of a second at f3.2, 200 millimeters. This is a very usable file. This is the highest native ISO that the camera goes, 51,200. And after that, it gets into the not recommended high modes. But let me show you an actual print of this image. This is 51,200 ISO printed. Do you see the noise or the grain in the face? You absolutely do. Is it detrimental? Does it look horrible? Does it look pixelated, like really bad? No, it doesn't. This is pretty unbelievable that a DX camera is capable of shooting at 51,200 uh, ISO and get clean, usable results. You hang this on the wall, you look at it from five feet away, you're not gonna know if it was shot at 800 ISO or 51,200. Now, that's not saying that it's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread or that a D5 wouldn't do better, but again, this is a $2,000 body. Moving up, we got 102,400, 200 and 4,800, not normally going to shoot there. They're fine. They're 409,600. Oh, the color's bad. I didn't really correct that. Let me do that real quick. We'll do that. We'll do that. And then all the way up to 1,638,400 ISO, 1,638,400. Uh, I was off. My exposure was off by almost two stops. That's my fault. I should have bumped my uh, f-stop from 3.5 to maybe 5.6 or, or 6.3 to get it closer. It's actually not that crappy at 1.6 million. But what you guys need to remember is that I still had light coming in, not the best light in the world, but if you're in a super low light situation where there is no light, it doesn't matter what ISO you shoot at, even at the lower ISOs, it's still going to look like crap. But just for these sample images that you can download over on the website, it looks very good. I'm really surprised how well a DX camera is capable of shooting at higher ISOs. Just go back, even I don't think a D750 could compete with the ISO capability of this. Honestly, the D750 only goes up to, I believe, 12,800 natively, so anything past that is the not native. This camera, the D500, is a major step forward for all cameras on Nikon side, including, of course, the DX sensor. It's a very powerful camera. We'll have a full review. We'll have a real world review. We'll have the photo shoot that I did where I'll share with you how I took these as well as a mini five minute portrait. But so far, pretty pleased with these files. Go over to the website, download them for yourself to pixel peep and take a look 
and let me know what you think. And that's where I'll leave it. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.